okay good morning good morning good morning yes so i just woke up a few minutes ago and i decided to i've proceeded to make my musha porridge okay so i actually put the musha here it is it's from musha it's actually cassava yes it's dried cassava I did not have the dry cassava itself, the the um the the processed bit, the one before the cake. So what I did, um, I used the cassava bread itself, and I soak it overnight. All right, I soak it from about midnight last night, and then I this morning all I did so I soak it in the same pot that I was gonna make the porridge from yes and then this morning i just a little while ago i just put this on the stove on low fire and this porridge is going to take approximately seven minutes or seven to ten minutes right so right now it's boiling it doesn't take long at all so right here the ingredients i'm going to use this i've used already that's the cassava bread which i soaked overnight it's very dry you need to soak it so it soften it and then I have milk. This is actually powdered milk, which I've made now into a liquid milk. I have bay leaf right here. We also call it cinnamon bush in this um, island. This is vanilla, right? In the spoon right there, vanilla, right? Right, vanilla. This is nutmeg right here. That's nutmeg, see? I just put the other, the nutmeg itself so you can see what it is right so those are my ingredients you have a calabash a very cultural like cultural things i have a calabash here with my other nutmeg just for aesthetics so what i'm going to do now i am going to put in the um the nutmeg first not in my not sorry i'm gonna put in the cinnamon bush first so that the flavor infiltrates the cassava i'm going to put two leaves okay gonna stir it i'm using I, I don't have a wooden spoon i have to get one right sometimes you have stuff on there but you kind of didn't replace them so i have to replace my wooden spoon so now that's uh, my vanilla my sorry my bay leaf in that okay next step is to add my nutmeg right so here it is nutmeg Right, so added my nutmeg right there. Stir it in. Porridge, you stir it gently. You don't let your porridge burn. You have to use low heat. Okay, so once again, I'm making musha porridge. See, real nice. Can, and I like cultural foods, eh? You have to be careful though. Don't eat too much. You don't want to eat too much of these things eat them in moderation this is for breakfast and now i'm going to add my vanilla essence all right right all right my vanilla essence which i also stir in mm -hmm. already i can smell the beautiful aroma of my spices right There you go. Right on. Now I am going to add my powdered milk. All right. With with milk, you add. In fact, with all of these ingredients, you add as much as you want, right, to suit your taste. So I've added the milk and I'm just going to stir it in nicely and gently until it's all mixed up in the um, musha, cassava, right? And honestly, it smells nice, really nice. I'm going to turn the stove up just a wee bit so that it starts boiling again. I want it to boil, not too quickly, but... I don't want it to stay there too long because it's already soaked and it's not tough 
soft, nice and stuff. When, when I soaked it, what I did was to get rid of the soak, the water, soak it in. In that way, I was getting rid of some of the starch. Okay? Cassava is starchy. In fact, the, when they're making cassava, this cassava, they have two types of cassava. The cooking cassava, which is not this. That's another one that you cook. So as a, like the way you cook ground provision. But this one is a root vegetable as well. And they peel it, they grate it, then they have to squeeze out all of the juice, because the juice itself is poisonous. All of the juice. And then they need to dry it before they can use it for anything. All right? So once they get, get rid of all the juice, then they can dry it to either make musha porridge like this or to make cassava bread like that. All right? And also, people use this for dumplings people also put musha in the dry musha in dumplings all right um should we add a little bit more milk perhaps let's add a little more milk for this Just a wee bit there you go we use the rest of our coffee so here we go again and mix it thin you can see that and even the texture of the porridge see that even the texture is lovely right there you go sometimes i add other things to my porridge right if you like flavor you can add bananas you can add the mango is in season i would even add mangoes once the porridge is cooling down so it doesn't kill the vitamins in the mango i would add a mango all right so this, see how that is now? It's bubbling again. So I'm gonna take the load of fire again. I'm gonna cover it because the thing is the, the the um it's gonna splash up. Let's cover it for a few minutes and I'm gonna show you something. Sometimes I even use um, I will use lime or orange rind to give my porridge flavor. So, all right. So now, here you go. This is it. Mm nice smelling really really good okay i am going to because i like to add stuff i'm gonna add some raisins right the raisins here i'm gonna add some raisins to my porridge okay raisins or grapes remember that can help i mean the cassava is already it has a lot of roughage that the grapes, the raisins will help as well. Remember, you have to drink a lot of water. There's some tips throughout the day. You need to drink a lot of water, right? And to aid elimination, right? It helps you to go to the toilet. But grapes also help you to go to the toilet. There's a smaller version of prunes and other things with roughage. Even this cassava should be nice to help you have a regular bowel motion okay here you are our porridge our musha porridge all right our cassava porridge right and cassava porridge cassava is usually in 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 uh, on the island um cassava is usually processed in december close to the festival period because fest uh, festival is historical it's cultural it's a cultural celebration right and that's where you do things i sit in the jumbo table and i'm um, having masquerades and miss goosey and wear your national dress too sometimes for it if it's called for 
and you have the calypso shows and all the cultural things are happening around festival time including um your ca- making your cassava bread there's a song give me me sorry drink and me christmas cassava bread yes we call it cassava too so this you can call this cassava porridge or musha porridge musha is the is the product after you grate the green cassava and squeeze the juice out the milk out we call it cassava milk because it's white and um dry it once it's dried and ready to use for porridge or dumpling it's called musha right the cassava we call it kusada so this culturally we would say in dialect kusada bread right so this is kusada bread so i just folded it's nice but it's dry mm-hmm it's dry mm. right now i'm smelling a nice bay leaf vanilla combined Ooh, nice and the nutmeg i can smell them very nice yes all right so our porridge is actually done and it took a little longer only 10 minutes because i added the raisins and i wanted the raisins to cook a little bit you see that so we would have finished this in 10 minutes i didn't put any salt in it if you like salt you can add salt i'm making this some cassava bread and even though i soak the bread the bread usually have some salt in it and i'm not a salt person so you all know i'm a naturalist so here you go again you have your natural uh, meal this morning most of it organic except for the um the, what's the process in here the vanilla all right so i'm gonna taste this porridge oh my goodness the porridge is nice so now let's not put the spoon back in now give me a moment let's look at my cassava 